Naruto. Madden NFL 2020. Sports. It's in the game. Shout out to the kickoff celebration. Take on Barkley, let's get it. Let's go. Take on Barkley. That was nice. All right, let's get it. Let's go. That was first half, first start. Why Robert is down? Kick off celebration. All right. New return man special I mean new return man superstar ability coming soon. Alright, alright. Pretty fresh, pretty fresh. Nice kickoff. Exhibition kickoff is here. Celebrate kickoff by playing as your favorite team throughout the season. Check back later in the month for new additions. All right. Nice. They yeah, got new pitches in there. It's pretty fresh. Franchise kick off your season now. Start your franchise with your favorite NFL team with the most up-to-date rosters and play alongside the real NFL season check back later oh, play, play alongside the real NFL season check back later in the month for the no for new updates to franchise all right hey what is a different dream I'm gonna get a different dream back on the mirror dance in real life by the way all right Become a <laughs> superstar KO. Become a KO champion. Draft a team of superstars with your friends in fast and fun online matches. Steal the best players from your opponents as you win and continue on to become a KO champion. All right. Nice.
Top 13% out of the Buck and Jerry's number. I like it. Like I said, I'm getting Buck and Jerry's number. Alright. Kickoff is here. It's the intro on the stash, yes, though. <laughs> but we got the record, so I'm good. EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston, in the Space City at NRG Stadium. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with Eli Manning and the New York Giants. Since he knows, though. Bet NFL 2020. from NRG Stadium in Houston. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. It's going up. 10 over. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Manning. And he rifles one incomplete. They were trying Pass to get the first the much. Sterling Shepard. And now it's third down. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing his man. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. An excellent pickup of okay, they gonna bark it. That ran at the catch was out of this world. Tackling gonna be so amazing going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my day, Ooh, that was nice. college and wearing all off season about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long story. night. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Manning. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one who has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Manning got a throw. The tight end, Rhett Ellison, with it. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two. Short nice catch. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. 
One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half as some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Manning on target here to Shepard. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texas. Nice juke, Stan Shepard. That was beautiful. Inside the 10 and finally wrestled down at the eight yard line. There we go. Not running the ball, nice Saquon Barkley. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. A good run of six yards there gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Look at me. Go on. Go on. Twist, 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 twist. Go. Now Manning. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Nice catch. A five-yard touchdown catch. And nice they're able to team. strike first here on their opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. And they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. PAT up and good. That's touchdown to start the game off. And that makes the score nice seven. That's long nothing. drive, 12 plays, 77 yards, like what, 76, something like that. And uh, finish it with a touchdown. Perfect. Perfect drive to start the game. And this is a perfect drive at any point in the game, especially to start off. <laughs> Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he'll wind up losing yardage. Nice tackle for loss. That was amazing. Perfect it's defense. A loss of four on the first down play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and 14 upcoming. Throwing on second and 14. Watson into a double team and it's intercepted. Nice defense, nice interception. His first throw of the By us. Intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope Low. there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first Motion throw of the me. game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Manning going to hand it off to Barkley. 
First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. It's like how lucky. And that's the big fellas that I'd bring out all these tackles. tackles Amazing run I thought the drive. Perfect. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Ready, ready. Here we go, D. Get off the field. Get it. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What Look how you talking like it's another thing on Barkley. Amazing. The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Throwing on second and eight. Manning. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Throwing his Manning on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm disappointed with that effort. I should have, uh, first of all, I should have passed the B. Um, Corey Coleman. Then I definitely should have made that field goal. So, yeah, that was on me. That was on me. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. That good for 22 and a first down. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? We just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. At the 47 yard line. On second and 11 now. Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 39. And the Texans first down. First and 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, here's Watson. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but... Only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, 
You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They isolate Hopkins on the left side. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Watson, screenplay, Johnson. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and goal from the six this time. 58 to Mike. 58 to Mike. Watch the screen. Pass. Trying to go. Here's Watson. His pass caught at the four. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. A two-yard pickup. Now Watson on third and goal. And he will have a touchdown. Taking it in. I think I'd have much to left at Darren with the right. Because I knew they had a linebacker the first half. behind the play. Yeah, all right. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes. But well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple of completions, you string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard and it'll be second down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Back to throw, Watson. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Nice sack. I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel. Slow motion from it. I just needed the extra nickel so I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? What were they? Uh, 15 cents. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. It's taken to the 26. 
A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be nice kill, nice punt return. You got a first down and six yards. Nice. Perfect. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. Nice, bringing out all these tackles. They're going to be amazing. Can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Saquon Barkley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Nice run of by me, and nice juice by you, Saquon Barkley. Amazing. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back to Wait, good man. plays. Have on the on fire. On first down. <laughs> Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Bowls him over. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice game. That's now 30. Nice trust to Saquon Barkley. Amazing. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon. And I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. On second down, here's Barkley. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the great move out of the bag, but couldn't do a ton with it. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Let's get off the field. Leo, Leo. To throw is Manning. And Ingram's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Hey, 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 hey. Pass. And the Giants have taken the lead. That's nice execution on that play, y'all. Perfect. Down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Rosas now to add the PAT. Nice blocking. Everybody was blocking. Nice pass. He's like Manny. Nice catch of ring. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in That's the deflection. NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Running from the gun, Johnson. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. 
A shotgun snap for Watson. Going deep for Hunt. And got his man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back now in Houston, it's Texans football, but they trade. I'm not pressing here by the way all the time, Mr. Schneider. And in the quarter, that's him. I want to see the transition. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, Watson being chased out left. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They've moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Double tight, guys, double tight. From the red zone now, Watson. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Alex. Yeah, I'll be taking that. Again. Turnover there. As his guys will get the football back. Thank you for your notch. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had. Damn, though, the uh, win up yet. They're about to, though. Top, 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 top 12%. Nice. Tom Brady's number. Shout out to Tom Brady, T. Breezy. Alright. Mojiko 3. Nice. And they sent you the shit, but they got the record, and I'm good. I'm good with the record, so yeah. Um. And shout out to the NFL. 100 season starting this week in two days on September 5th, 2019. Today's September 3rd, 2019. And it's gonna be a sliding. Um, custom matchup. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Packers vs. Bears, custom matchup. Um, and yeah. Division game and all that. Also, shout out to NBA 2K20 coming out on September 6, 2019, today after the uh, kickoff for NFL 100 season, 2019 2020 season. And yeah. And a month from then. It's gonna be Supergirl season five, starting on October 6, 2019. So yeah, shout out to that too. It's gonna be amazing, exciting, and fresh, and yeah. Um, and that's one month and three days from now. Uh, yeah, October 6, 2019 is one month, three days from now. Today is September 3rd, 2019. So all that being said, CBC Naruto. Over and out.